Cornelius, autonomous vehicles, big buzzword around the world for different reasons often, um, but we're showing it here in a machine shop environment as well, aren't we? Can you tell us about this automated vehicle? Yeah, so this AGV we showed first time at the EMO exhibition uh, in September, but now we show here the, let's say, evolution of the system. We have integrated it on the machine with pellet changer and also included external uh, components like this rainy show measuring device. Now, I'm fascinated by this uh, for one, well, for many reasons, but one of which is what about collisions? What about an operator walking around in this environment? Is there not likely to be an accident? Yeah, no, no, not at all. So that is the big talking point that this uh, safety fence is now just for the uh, exhibition and uh, to, to make the system moving and running because otherwise if the visitors were walking through that it was, uh, would be standing and it would uh, be no dangerous uh, situation for the visitors because we have here laser scanners all around the system and that is the big talking point that uh, the HEV and the operator can work in the same environment and you have full cooperation between automation and uh, manual uh, operation of a machine. So will it still carry out its functions? It will just avoid you? Is, is that how it would work? So it would take a different route or a different path? it will stop. So that is the strategy with the system what we use that it will stop and wait and when the then the obstacle is going out again then it will continue his uh, road. Okay his now, track, yeah. now what's fascinating it's a little bit like a forklift truck in a sense isn't it you've got well an open enclosure point where it's got a pallet in there and it's loading it into the machine and taking it out of the machine and then moving it around your machine shop. Yeah, so HEVs are uh, very common and used already for logistics and that is nothing very special. Now here we have this special element that we combine this logistical uh, concept with the accuracy of a machine tool and handle high accurate machine pellets in the system and that is the new point. And then of course control the whole uh, thing with our own uh, cell controller, our LPS4 system. Now, now what you're showing here is, is, is parts, different parts, different fixtures in the machine. But can it handle inventory as well? So, you know, uh, tooling supplies, all of those types of elements that are also needed within a machine shop environment. Yeah, basically that's possible, but of course then it would be an additional and somehow different uh, configured HEV where we have then the, the setup of, for tool loading or something uh, else. Here we have uh, the adaptation of the HEV for the handling of the machine tool pellets. Now, where you're going with this, DMG Mori, it's all about these days the unmanned run, isn't it? You're looking at providing someone with the opportunity to uh, keep labour out of the solution and basically go home and let this cell make money for you. Yeah, so I think uh, the operators should not go home, but they can work then in standard uh, working times from 8 to 5, for example, and then let the system run overnight. And at the next day, they have uh, double of the capacity done what they can usually do on, under a day shift. And that is the main point to make life easier for the operators and increase productivity and the spindle hours of the whole system.